Hi, I'm Dr. Chandresh. I'm the consultant psychiatrist here at Asha Neuromodulation Clinics at Gachipoli. And today I'm going to be talking to you about depression and the role of TMS in treating depression. Depression is not just feeling low and suicidal. There are multiple other symptoms that come along with these. So you could be feeling low, losing interest in things you used to find pleasurable before, feeling guilty for things you normally wouldn't be feeling guilty about, feeling low energy, tired all the time, unable to concentrate, be it work or even unable to concentrate watching a TV show that you used to like, feeling either an increase in appetite or losing appetite, maybe sleeping more or sleeping less or unable to sit down calmly feeling very restless. Family may have noticed that you become very slow and your speech has become slow, your walking has become slow. Added to this of course, you may also feel like maybe life is not worth living. Coming to the brain and what depression is in the brain and I have obviously told you multiple symptoms and this would mean that multiple regions of the brain are being affected in depression. And what we are primarily interested in is a region of the brain called the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex. And we do have research evidence which states that on the left side, the left DLPFC seems to be hypoactive, meaning less functioning when exposed to emotional stimuli compared to a normal baseline. And on the right side, you have an increased activity when exposed to emotional stimuli. And the role of the DLPFC is um, you could say it's an executive control network of the brain which lets you really plan things out and act on them and helps you control your emotional disturbances which obviously you lose when you're depressed. And what we're trying to do with TMS is activate the left side of the brain and in certain patients we also try to inhibit the right side of the brain based on you know previous theories that we have of depression. And now I will be showing you some of the practical equipment that we have here. TMS equipments and the coil which we use to either stimulate or inhibit these regions of the brain that I just described to you. So here we have the MagVenture figure of 8 coil. It's called a figure of 8 coil because the coils here are oriented in the shape of an 8. When current passes through these coils, magnetic fields are generated but the concentration of the magnetic field is along the strip in the center here. I'm going to be demonstrating to you the position of the figure of 8 coil when it's placed on a human. Here we have a mannequin for that purpose. So in depression, like we had discussed, there is a hypoactivity of the left DLPFC. And when placed on the head, this would approximately be the position that you would find yourself in. And this coil, though it's handheld and allows us to position it a little more freely, here it is placed on a metal arm so that it doesn't move during treatment. So the MagVenture coil allows us to stimulate the left side of the brain as well as inhibit the right side of the brain. For most patients, either one would be sufficient, but these can be combined and this pro specific protocol would be called bilateral sequential RTMS. So here I'm going to demonstrate to you the Brainsway H1 helmet. As you can see, it has multiple locations where the head is secured. And even if you are to move the head during the treatment, the helmet will move along with it. It's a completely padded helmet to ensure optimal comfort. And this particular helmet is used to treat anxiety and depression. Now what this coil does is actually stimulate the left side of the brain, especially the DLPFC. The advantage over this compared to the traditional RTMS system and for its namesake, the deep RTM system is that it actually goes to stimulate broader and a deeper region of the brain up to 4.5 centimeters square. I hope you found this video insightful and I'm sure you have more questions and you can drop them down in the comments below. We'll try to get in touch with you. And if you also feel that you may have some of these symptoms that we just discussed today, you might want to come down to our clinics. One of our doctors are always available to answer your questions and offer you a detailed evaluation and management plan.